हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्टैंडर्ड इलेवन केमिस्ट्री यूनिट टू स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम पार्ट फाइव लास्ट टाइम वी डिस्कस अबाउट ऑर्बिट एंड ऑर्बिटल ऑर्बिट इज ओनली द सर्कुलर प्लानर पाथ ऑन विच इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रोटेट्स अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस एंड मैक्सिमम प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस रीजियन इज कॉल्ड ऑर्बिटल ऑर्बिट इज रिप्रेजेंट बाई एन इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री एन ऑर्बिटल इज रिप्रेजेंट बाई एस पी डी एफ दिस लेटर्स इज डिराइव फ्रॉम एस फॉर सार्प पी फॉर प्रिंसिपल डी डी फॉर डिफ्यूज and f for fundamental now let's see the concepts about quantum number to describe electron of atom in details quantum numbers are used quantum number specify the shape size energy and orientation of orbitals there are four quantum numbers number 1 principal quantum number small n which is denoted by small n number 2 azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number or subsidiary quantum number which is denoted by small l number 3 magnetic quantum number denoted by small m suffix l small l number 4 electron spin quantum number which is denoted by small m suffix s let's see first of all principal quantum number principal quantum number that decides size and energy of orbital then after principal quantum number which is indicated by here small n that small n identifies the cell now let's see 
what is cell cell are composed of electrons composed of cells are composed of electron that serve the same principle quantum number small n here the basic difference between orbit orbit is only circular planar path circular planar path and the cell are composed of electrons means here suppose two electrons number of two electrons maximum number of two electrons can remain in first cell first cell okay now here is the nucleus cell number 1 cell number 2 cell number 3 and cell number 4 4 nucleus cell number 1 n equal to 1 here n equal to 2 n equal to 3 and n equal to 4 n and cell here for first orbit its cell k second orbit here or here principal quantum number its cell denoted by capital l for th 3 m 4 4 capital n and so on now the value of n square that indicates the number of allowed orbitals value of n square that indicates number of allowed orbitals that means here each cell has specific number of subcell that number of allowed orbital then after value of 2n square that indicates number of electrons remain in orbit okay maximum number of electrons remain in orbit for example suppose n equal to 1 n equal to 1 that means k cell as per n square n square equal to 1 that is equal to 1 that means here first cell that allowed only one orbital one allowed orbital and 
it contains only two electrons that's why in first cell here maximum electrons are two here suppose n equal to two this l cell therefore as per n square two square equal to four that means here four allowed orbitals four allowed orbital multiply by two electrons four multiply by two eighteen electrons okay so we can say here in first orbit maximum number of electrons two can rotate maximum two electrons can rotate in for in third cell scale m n square equal to 3 square equal to 9 allowed orbital multiply by 2 electron that is equal to 9 multiply by 2 8 sorry here 4 multiply by 2 8 electrons and here 9 multiply by 2 18 electrons n equal to 4 therefore n equal to 4 square 6 equal to 16 16 allowed orbitals multiply by 2 electron that is equal to 32 electrons okay so in first cell maximum 2 electrons in second cell l cell maximum 8 electrons okay here the correction 4 multiply by 2 that is equal to 8 electrons and equal to 3 m cell 18 electrons and n equal to 4 n cell 13 32 electron now the energy of orbital increases with increase the value of n and here the principal quantum number principal quantum number energy of orbit increase with increase in the number of principal quantum number or in the value of small n now the size of orbital is increases size of orbital increases with increase in the value of n that means here the distance between nucleus and electron is increases because electrons rotates around the nucleus on circular planar path okay so the distance between nucleus and electron is increases with increases of principal quantum number so here size of orbital increases with increase of principal 
quantum number small n here size now energy is required in shifting away the electron from orbit the energy of orbital is increases with increase of principal quantum number that means here energy is increases with increases in the value of n okay now let's see quantum number 2 that is azimuthal or angular momentum quantum number which is denoted by small l here azimuthal quantum number that decides geometrical shapes of orbitals for given value of for given value of n n that is principal quantum number and l l that is azimuthal quantum number can value the range from 0 to 0 to n minus 1 that means here we get the value of l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 and that is here principal quantum number that is for given value of n the possible values are l equal to 0 1 2 and so on n minus 1 for example here suppose the principal quantum number n equal to 1 the value of l equal to 0 to n minus 1 that is equal to 0 to 1 minus 1 here 0 to 0 that means here 0 therefore n equal to 1 and l equal to 0 and here let's see value of l value of l and notation of subcell notation of subcell here we get the value of l is 0 and notation of subcell that is s subcell s now n equal to 2 that for l equal to 0 to s per n minus 1 0 to here 2 minus 1 0 to 1 therefore 0 and 1 L equal to zero and one. That means here two subcell. Here 
only one subcell this is principal quantum number or another word here cell in first cell has only one subcell is only one subcell cell 2 that means here second cell has two subcell okay now n equal to 3 that means here third sub third cell l equal to 0 to n minus 1 0 to 3 minus 1 0 to 2 that means it includes 0 1 and 2 here it has 3 sub cell now n equal to 4 fourth cell l equal to 0 to n minus 1 0 to 4 minus 1 that means 0 to 3 that is 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 means here 4 sub cell ok now we get the value of L suppose here 1 it is denoted or notation for subcell is P suppose value of L is equal to 2 as P D F here 3 and rotation for subcell is F okay so as that means here one subcell here it is called as subcell okay here 0 comma 1 that means it includes 0 comma 1 that means it includes s and p subcell okay here 0 1 2 that means here s p and d 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 that means here s p d and f subcell okay that means here subcells are composed of electron that share same angular momentum quantum number suppose here n value of l n that is principal quantum number and l that is azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number and its subcell notation this is very most important here suppose n equal to 1 and l equal to 0 that means its subcell notation is 1 and 0 value is notation for subcell is s so it denotes 1 s now suppose n equal to 2 and l equal to 1 means 2 and 1 for p n equal to 3 
and suppose here l equal to 2 that means 3 and for given value of 2 here 3d n equal to 4 and l equal to 3 that means here 4 f okay now let's see here s orbit here s subcell has maximum two electrons can remain p orbital here the another word p orbital p orbital has three sub orbital or sub shell px py and pz each sub cell is 2 2 2 that means here number of electrons 6 okay for d there are 5 sub cell each has 2 electron that means number 10 electrons and here to maximum 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 14 electrons this for your knowledge don't include in the theory so these concepts will discuss later on okay so don't include in knots here cell name subcell subcell maximum electrons and cell maximum electron here the cell that is K and its subcell name is 1s s has only one subcell so that includes only two electrons and cell has maximum two electrons also for second cell or l has 2s and 2p subcell 2s s has only one subcell p has one two and three subcells two multiply by three that is equal to six means here two plus six eight electrons in second cell for m n equal to 3 third cell 3s 3p and 3d s has two electrons because it has only one subcell 3p has px py and pz three subcells here 3d 1 2 3 4 and 5 that includes number of electrons 10 that means here 2 plus 6 plus 10 that is equal to 18 electrons can remain in sec third cell and here fourth cell 4s 4p 4d and 4f s has 1 p has 3 d has 5 and f has 7 subcells that means 2 plus 6 plus 10 that is plus 18 that is equal to 32 electrons okay next time we will discuss another quantum number thank you very much